In this video I'm going to cover the product manager. The product manager will allow you to edit products or units or items within the catalogs you have enabled on your website. And that would be changing the price on items, excluding items you may not want to display out of catalogs on the website, and also adding items to product groups. So to get to the product manager in the main page of the command center you can go into the quick link section and click on manage products. And when we get to the product manager we have different search by options. So each tab is a different way to search. If we go to catalog e-commerce it'll list out the brands and or distributors we have enabled for aftermarket parts, accessory, and apparel catalogs so I could check a whole brand or distributor and hit search and it would pull up all the products that catalog it actually lists out the first 200 out of however many total products there are that's just one way to search I'm gonna hit new search and it's gonna go back a screen but I could drill down on a brand or a distributor by hitting the blue arrow and then I could choose a specific catalog like apparel and footwear under Fox so now when I search I'll get the first 200 but it'll be less total results I'm going to do a new search again and I could even drill down on within one catalog to choose a specific section now I can just pull up shirts out of the apparel and footwear catalog So catalog e-commerce is one way to search. Catalog showcase would be working with the actual OEM units or vehicles on the website. So again, we could select a whole brand in search and we'll pull up every type of unit, year of unit we have enabled in the catalog manager. Or we could drill down on a brand to choose a specific type in search. or we could even drill down on a specific type to pull up a specific year so we have catalog e-commerce for the aftermarket parts accessories and apparel catalog showcase for the units or vehicles product categories will also be for the parts accessories and apparel it's just searching by category so we'll see options on here like helmets, jackets, gloves. So we could pull up helmets, for example, and search on that. Or again, we, when we see these blue arrows, we can expand on that option to get more specific. And I could pull up full face helmets. And if I searched on that, it'll pull up all the full face helmets out of all the catalogs I have enabled containing full face helmets. If we go to the Keywords tab, that would allow you to search by a single part number, a product name, or even a brand name. And the drop-down palette will populate as you're typing in. The Part Numbers tab would again allow you to search by a single part number or multiple. You would just separate them with a comma. So sometimes that can be the fast way to search for one or a handful of products. That way you're not pulling up a whole category or a whole catalog. And you can use these tabs in combination too. So I'm going to go to catalog e-commerce and I'm going to check off Tucker Rocky as the distributor. Now I'm going to go to product categories and I'm going to expand on tires and wheels and I'm going to check off tires and now I'm going to go to the product brand tab which you could type brands into the keywords tab here on the product brand tab we can select from a list without having to type it in and I'm going to check off Dunlop so each item I'm checking off would be another filter I'm applying to the search so now when I hit search I'm just going to pull up Dunlop tires out of Tucker and I'm actually going to show you how to add items to a sale. So since I want to add all these Dunlop tires out of Tucker to a sale, I'm going to check the very top selected box, which will select all. 
and now I'm going to click on edit selected products which will pop up a new window with the options I have to edit my selected products with and I'm going to toggle to add to a sale if I already had a sale created I could choose from my existing sales which I do not have yet so I'm going to create a new sale and for sale type we could go dollar percentage off the MSRP and I'm going to go with percentage off and I'm going to do 15 percent off and when you create a sale you're going to put in a start date which could be today or a date in the future and the sale price would not start until that date so you can set up these sales in advance then you're also going to put in an end date and that sale price would revert back automatically on that end date to the MSRP and when you create sales you're going to want to put in a description or a title keep in mind that description is going to display on the website when you're looking at products within that sale so we're going to title this Dunlop Tire Sale save changes now I'm going to go ahead and drop down under the website drop down selector here and publish the website changes now I'm going to pull up the actual website here and go into the search bar and pull up Dunlop Tires and we can see here when products are added to a sale it will have a little red sale banner going across the top left corner and when we click on a product that's in a sale and go to the detail page that's where it's going to list out our sale description our end date discount value and when you get to seven days left it'll add this last line of text and count it down each day creating a sense of urgency like you better go out and buy now and if we scroll down and look at the variants of this product we can see that it has the MSRP with the slash through it the sale price and we can see how much is being saved back in the command center I'm going to do a new search and Dunlop tires exists within Tucker and Parts Unlimited well since I just added the Tucker Dunlop tires to a sale I want to exclude the Dunlop tires out of Parts Unlimited therefore my customers won't see those on the site and they can just see the Dunlop tires out of Tucker so I'm going to check out Parts Unlimited go to product categories and select tires again go to product brand and select Dunlop again this time I'm going to take the whole list or select all and edit and I'm going to choose the exclude selected products option I'm going to check the box yes exclude selected products from my site and save changes and we can see here on the search results in the excluded column everything is set to yes so if it says yes in that excluded column those items won't actually display on the website they will still show up in the command center though and you can take products that have been excluded and edit and enable them to turn them back on And we can see those now say no in the excluded column so we just went over how to add parts accessories and apparel to a sale but you can do the same thing with units so I'm gonna go to catalog showcase I'm gonna go under Polaris under ATV to 2014 ATVs and search and I'm going to take this Scrambler XP 1000 EPS and mark it as selected and edit and I'm going to add that to a sale I'm going to create a new sale and this time, time I'm going to go a dollar off and I'm going to do a three hundred dollar off discount and put in my start and end dates when I'm putting units on sale I will usually just put in the year followed by the model and a 
and sail at the end of it. I'm going to show you another thing here you can do with parts, accessory, and apparel and units is you can add them to what we call product groups. So I'm going to take that unit I added to a sale and mark it as selected and edit again. But this time I'm going to choose add to a product group. And now it'll list out the groups I have set up in my system. And I'm going to add them to this custom product group one for now. but I want to change the title of that product group. So over in the left navigation I'm going to drop down under the product manager to product groups which will list out the groups that we have here. I'm going to change the title of custom product group 1 to featured non current blowout sale. to save that and publish and show you what happens on the website. So now when I go back to my home page I'm going to have a new content piece populating my featured non-current blowout sale. It's listing out that unit I added to it with a sale banner on it. Now I'm going to go back to the product manager because I want to add some apparel or helmets to a product group. So I'm going to go to the Keywords tab and I'm going to type in Arai. And on the drop-down palette, I'm going to go with Arai Helmets and search. And I'm going to look for the specific helmets I want to add to the group. edit those selected products, add to a product group. And I'm going to add them to my custom product group 2 here on the list and save. But I'm going to go back to product groups and retitle that group as well to featured helmets. So you can title these groups whatever you want and you can add and use as many groups as you want. And I was telling you you can add up to 50 products to a group, but by default it's only showing the first four products on the home page for that group. And if you have more than four products in the group, this view more link will show up automatically and that link will bring you to that group's page where it lists out all the products that you have in that group. But we can adjust how many rows show up on the home page for each group. So back on the product group screen, off to the right, it defaults to one row being shown for each group. But we can change that from one to four rows. So you can show between one and four rows on the home page for each group there's up to four products in a row. So we're going to change the featured helmets to two rows and check that out. I'm going to change that back to one row for now. Every now and then you run into what I just did. You'll save a change, you'll publish, you won't see it immediate on the website. You just may have to wait another minute or two. But another thing you can adjust with these uh, product groupings is off to the right there's an edit button for each group. And the edit button will pull up a list of the products you have in the group. So if you're only showing one row on the home page, you can rotate those out every now and then. So we have these move to top arrows, it'll push it to the top of the list or you can click down and do a drag and drop to change the order. Now you can also change the price on products without adding them to a sale. So in the 
product manager, I'm going to use this other product group search by option. This is a little bit different than the product groups we were just at. This would allow you to search and pull up the products within that grouping to then change the price on or exclude if need be. But if they're in a group, most likely you're going to be changing the price. So I'm going to mark these all as selected in edit and we're going to go with set store list price. And when you're setting your store list price, you can go percentage off, percentage above, dollar off, dollar above. You could even go with fixed dollar value. However, that's usually going to work best when you only have one item marked as selected because all the selected products would be at the fixed price that you set. So we're going to go with percentage off. I'm going to do 10% off and I'm going to save changes. And we can see here on the search results, the store price is less than the MSRP, reflecting that 10% off. So one of the differences between the store price and the sale price is when you add items to a sale, shows up with the red sale banner. When you're changing the store price on products, you're still changing the price, but there's no sale banner. And when we get to the detail page, there's no sale information. It's just listing out the price we changed it to. Also, when you change your store price like that, it'll stay that way until you manually change it back. So a good way to get to products that you've changed the store price on is at the product manager. You can go to the pricing exclusions and inventory tab. And just by going to this tab, it'll check off not excluded. Uh, but what we want to do here is check custom priced. And when I hit search, it would pull up any products that I changed the store price on. It should pull up those Arai helmets here. I'm going to select all and edit and I'm going to remove the list price check the box yes remove prices from the selected items and I'm going to save changes and since they're no longer custom priced when this refreshes they'll no longer be listed out in fact I'm not going to wait for that to even load so the key with the product manager is to know how to use the different search by options. Searching by catalog e-commerce, again that's for parts, accessory, and apparel. Catalog showcase for the OEM units and vehicles. Search by product categories, which again is for parts, accessory, and apparel. Keywords. And part numbers. So that would be the basic ins and outs of the product manager and product groups. Thank you for your time.